To switch on the crane, turn the main switch to on. Adjust the seat in the cab to give you the best position. Arms on the armrests. To start the crane, release the emergency stop button. Press the start button. The button signal lamp will flash. The green signal lamp at the bottom right of the screen will flash and will change from a green circle to a green square. Acoustic signals will be sounded. The crane horn, the CCS tone, and the wind alarm. Wait until the green square and the start button signal lamp stop flashing and become a fixed light. Move the right-hand joystick in a way that corresponds to the lowering movement. The lever will vibrate. Press the button for validating movements and leave it pressed down. This way you won't have to press this button again if you remain seated. Actuate the speed limiting device. Every press on the left of this button will reduce the maximum speed of all movements by 25%. Every press on the right of this button will increase the maximum speed of all movements by 25%. A pictogram shows the status of the speed limiting device. This function is useful for precise crane operation. Test the horn by pressing the button at the top of the right-hand joystick. Test the standby mode of the crane by pressing the standby button. The signal lamp of the start button will flash slowly along with the green square on the CCS screen, and no movement will be possible. This function allows you to pause in safety without completely stopping the crane. To exit standby mode, press the start button, and then press the button for validating movements and leave it pressed down. You can then take your finger off this button. Slewing Brake Button The slewing brake is applied by pressing the button at the top of the left-hand joystick. The brake can only be applied at low slewing speed. The P plus function allows you to lift a greater load at a specific radius. It is available under certain conditions and can be activated by the technicians present. The crane operator will then be able to put this option into operation or not on the left-hand joystick. As a result, movements are decelerated to avoid strong jolts. This option depends on the mast configuration, the jib length, and the on-ground installation. The following symbol appears on the right of the screen. On the indicator screen, press the escape key and select driving and then Driving Preferences. This menu allows you to adjust all the settings for the use of the joysticks. For each movement, you can change the speed curves, the minimum speed, and the maximum speed. For the slewing movement, you can activate counter slewing and select the counter slewing type. For trolleying, select the driving profile most suited. For hoisting, select the driving profile most suited. The speed feedback function makes the right-hand joystick vibrate during hoisting and lowering movements at low speed. The frequency of the vibrations is proportional to the speed of movement. This function acts as an aid for precision. It gives the crane operator a better feel for the movement at very low speeds. When the top sight option is activated, this pictogram appears on the right of the CCS screen. Press the following keys on the indicator screen to display the prohibited zones. Using the hoisting joysticks, Check that the hoisting and lowering movements function at all speeds. Operate a hoisting movement to the upper hoist limit switch. The movement must slow down and this symbol will be displayed. Then the movement should stop and this symbol will be displayed. If the lower hoist limit switch is set, carry out the same steps for the upper hoist limit switch only with the following symbols. 
using the trolley in joysticks, check that the trolley out and in movements function at all speeds. Operate a trolley out movement to the trolley out limit switch. The movement must slow down. The trolley out bar graph will turn orange and this symbol will be displayed. Then the movement should stop. The trolley bar graph will turn red and this symbol will be displayed. Carry out the same steps for the trolley out limit switch only, but in trolley in mode, the following symbols will appear. Using the slewing joysticks, check that the right and left slewing movements function at all speeds. When a slewing movement reaches the right or left limit switch, the movement must slow down and this symbol will be displayed. Then the movement should stop and this symbol will be displayed. Press the Escape button on the indicator screen. Select Menu 1, Driving, and confirm using the OK button. Then select Menu 3, Rope Reaving, using the down arrow button, and then the OK button. Select the rope reaving type you want to change using the right or left arrow button, then continue by pressing the OK button. Confirm with Yes or No, and then return to the indicator screen by pressing the Escape button. The rope reaving change will appear on the right-hand bar. The mechanical rope reaving needs to be changed following this. To put the crane in weather vaning mode, carry out the procedure for the end of a shift and then position the crane in the direction of the wind. Switch off the power to the crane by pressing the emergency stop button located on the right hand armrest. The crane in operation indicator will switch to crane switched off on the CCS screen. Press the escape button on the indicator screen. Select Menu 1, Driving, and confirm using the OK button. Select Menu 2, Weather Veining, and confirm using the OK button. Once you're in this menu, the Brake Applied symbol will be displayed. Select OK, and the Brake Released symbol will appear. The crane is now in Weather Veining mode. Weather Veining can also be activated from the base of the crane. To meet operation requirements, no movement is possible if the crane operator gets up from their seat. In such cases, one of the two triggers on the joysticks must be pressed and left pressed down.